Hey guys, Gerald Richardson here, real estate investor and realtor. I wanted to film a two part video on the current real estate market. One from a real estate agent's perspective and another from an investor's perspective. Last year this time, I posted this on social media sites. We were in the middle of COVID in an ultra hot real estate market. Homes were selling significantly over asking with multiple offers and large non-refundable deposits. A lot of homes were selling sight unseen where buyers were purchasing homes without actually visiting them before going on the contract. I commented that homes were selling 10 to 50,000 over the asking price. It eventually went as high as 100 to 200,000 over asking in certain areas of Raleigh Durham with non-refundable deposits as high as 100,000. Meaning that if a buyer walks away from a deal, then they will be forfeiting their $100,000 deposit even for a house that they may have never had laid eyes on before going on the contract. The buyer's demand for houses on the extremely limited number of houses caused our real estate market to be like this. You also must factor in that the borrowing cost of money was really cheap, with mortgage rates being as low as 2-3% to on loans. Has the real estate market cool? Is the question. I can only comment on the market here in Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina, but to some degree, I would say yes. Anything less than the ultra-hot market we had these last two years would seem like, like a cool off. However, the market is still extremely hot and active. Instead of listings receiving 12 to 20 offers all above asking, it feels more like the real estate market of 2018 and 2019 prior to COVID where there may be two to three offers on house and one may be above asking. Mortgage rates are currently around the levels that they were in 2018 at 4.8 to 5.5% interest rates. They are still less than what rates have been historically but they are significantly more than what the record loads we saw last year of 2 to 3 percent. By end of this year and in 2023, we may see mortgage rates climb back up to 6 to 8 percent, which were the levels we were at prior to the market crash of 2008. If you look at the historic trends of mortgage rates, you will see that they are typically around 8 percent. Borrows have been spoiled with these low mortgage rates these last few years. The only difference between then and now is that home or price higher than what they were even four years ago. You would think that with the increase in mortgage rates, home prices would level off. I know there are many buyers out there that are hoping that prices will fall significantly to a more affordable level. Unfortunately, I don't think we will see price drops that much, if at all really. Most likely prices will continue to increase, it just won't be the 20% 20, 20 growth year over year we, we experienced these last two years. It'll probably be about 4 to 5 percent growth we see historically in real estate. If there is a market correction or drop in prices, it'll probably be more like 5 to 10 percent, which is typical of a normal market caused by changes in seasonality. The main reason why I'm saying that there won't be a significant drop in home prices is because of supply and demand. In our area, 70 to 100 folks move into the triangle each day, causing a significant demand for housing. Inventory levels have already been low to begin with since 2014. Builders are having a difficult time ramping up and meeting demand and sellers are hesitant to put their houses on the market, even with the higher home values. They are worried that they will not be able to find their next home or that it may be unaffordable due to the higher interest rates, where they would have to be given up a loan with a 3% rate for a 6-8% rate on a new house and end up paying more monthly in housing costs. If you're a buyer in this market, don't expect prices to drop anytime soon, but do keep in mind that there will be a hit to your affordability with the increase in mortgage rates. The monthly payment on the $500,000 house at 5% will be less than the monthly payment on a $400,000 house at 8%. So in an unlikely event that a house dropped 100,000 in price, you will still end up paying more for the house because of, the, uh, because of the increase in mortgage rates. If you're a seller in this market, now would probably be the best time to sell your home and buy your next house. You can take advantage of the current home values while being able to afford your next house before the mortgage rate increases later this year or, or next year. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out part two of this video as I discuss the real estate market from an investor perspective. Talk to you guys later.